on, let's break it up, you playboys. Come on, we're home. Okay, kiddies. I'm sorry, I hate to be a party pooper, but the shindig's over. I have a heart, Skip. Yeah, we was just warming up. Yeah, well, you better cool off quick. Because we gotta get these girls back to the base hospital before Binghamton finds out that they're missing. Yeah, well, let us at least have one more dance, Skip. I found a great partner. Well, huh? what'll it be, baby? The Lindy or the Peabody? It's up to you. <laughs> Part of this like a congo under the brig, honey. John the rest, all of you. Gee, I'm sorry I stepped on your toes, sir. <laughs> I mean, ma'am. Never mind. My program was filled anyway. No! Everybody out! of Navy property. Item 43, willfully creating a disturbance during duty hours. Huh? <laughs> Item 44, fraternizing with female personnel. Oh, take it easy, Captain. The boys needed a little relaxation. They haven't had a leave in months. <laughs> give them a break, Captain. Oh, I'll give them a break, all right, Mikhail. I'll give them a break right about here, and I'll personally tie the noose myself. Now, don't you interrupt me anymore. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't know when he was that mean, I'd have never asked him to dance. You shut your fat little mouth, or I'll give you a turn! Let's save you. Excuse me for interrupting, sir, but there's a new ensign who just arrived, and he's very anxious to speak to you, sir. I don't know anything about a new ensign. That's all I need around here is another ensign. Well, well sir, 45. sir, he is not assigned here, sir. He's not assigned here. He's just laying over for three days until he can get a flight out to Baraluna, sir. Here are his orders. Don't you understand? I don't want to see his orders. I don't want to see him. I, I don't want to know anything about this man, whoever he is. Take the wait a minute. Give me that. Give me that. Ensign Roger Whitfield III. Yes, sir. Is this the son of Roger Whitfield II, my old boss? Well, that's what he told me to tell you, sir. Don't stand there like an idiot. You bring that boy in here. You'll bring him in here right away. Oh, my goodness, that's my boss's son. I want my job back after this war, you know. Yeah, yeah. Don't just stand there, Mikhail. Tidy up, tidy up. Don't be like, oh, I'm standing around. Nobody does anything to help me. I tell you what. You get this thing off of me, you love. Every time you get near me, put that down. Oh, right. Time for this brat to show up. I, Hello, Roger, boys. So uh, nice to see you, boy. How it's a you? small war, isn't it? <laughs> Whoever thought I'd bump into you way out here? Huh, Bingy? <laughs> Bingy. <laughs> yeah, that's what they used to call me at the Yacht Club. Oh? Yeah, Bingy. <laughs> oh, goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Nice well, what's the rush, there. Bingy? Aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, you want to? I mean, he wants to. Yeah, uh, uh, this is uh, this is Commander McHale. Uh, the... Hi, glad to know you. And to that, to that sense, in uh, uh, Parker. Yeah, hi. Any friend of Bingy's is a friend of ours. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, bye, bye, boys. So, uh, uh, so, so you're uh, Quentin McHale, huh? Oh, I heard a lot about you from the fellows on the plane. Oh, yeah, we've heard a lot about you too. Yeah, boy, you should have heard what he said about you before you came in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I was telling you all about the South Bay Yacht Club, Roger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How are things at the Yacht Club, yeah. Roger, without me? I suppose you're just falling apart. Huh? Well, not exactly. Dad wrote me that they put Charlie Druton in your old spot managing the place, and uh, I understand he's doing a pretty good job, too. Charlie Druton. Oh, that eight ball, he couldn't manage a live bait barge. <laughs> well, if I remember right, that's what they used to say about you, too. Huh, Bingy? <laughs> <laughs> Great sense of humor, this yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. Friends in the family. Yeah. <laughs> Captain couldn't manage a live bait bar. <laughs> you want to know something? He's not such a hot dancer. No, sir. Right. <laughs> well, if you're going to have a little old reunion here, Captain, it will be on our way. Uh, what about the court-martial? Oh? Don't tell me you're having personnel problems, Bingy. 
You know, Dad always thought that was your weak point. Oh, yeah, Dad thought that was my weak... I'm not having any personnel problems, hmm? No, 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 no. What Mr. Parker meant was that the, the captain seldom has any personnel problems. Oh, I of course, uh, there are those charges. Um, <laughs> hey, there are no charges here, McQuayle. No, 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 that's on the house. Oh, well, wonderful. We sure appreciate yeah. that. Oh, boy, listen, anytime you need a favor, boy, you can call on us. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Is it that? Is it that? just one big happy Yeah! Big <laughs> happy family. Say, Dad, could I use a boat tonight? Bye-bye! <laughs> Bye-bye! Uh, hey, uh, grand bunch of boys, Roger. It's just a grand bunch of boys. Uh, they're a little eccentric, but they're fine. Uh, uh, make yourself comfortable, son. Make well, yourself comfortable. well, won't Pop get a kick out of here and then I ran into old thingy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, be sure and tell him how thrilled I was to see you. Won't uh, you do that? Uh, uh, excuse me, Roger. I wouldn't want these dirty papers to spoil your shoes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Flower. She looks like a whole hothouse to me. <laughs> Don't you get lost. Ah, well, little flower. Uh, uh, tell me, what can we all do uh, for the most charming daughter of the most noble chief on this island? Huh? Mikhail, I'm here to make deal. You give me right on P.T. Bus, I give you pig. <laughs> oh, yeah, but uh, thanks a lot, but uh, actually, we, we don't need a mascot right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, besides, what's so uh, special about a spin on a uh, 73, huh? Best way little flower know how to catch husband. Here. Oh, uh, <laughs> you mean run them down in their canoes? <laughs> That's a little dramatic even for leap year, isn't it? <laughs> hey. I'm allergic to those things. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> A little flower, uh, I'll tell you, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, we can't help you because if Binghamton ever catches us with another girl on the boat, he'll skin us alive. So, I'm sorry. Uh, well, uh, I, I tell you, I give you two pigs. Well, two or two hundred, I, I, it just can't be done. I throw in water buffalo, then a coat, even pet crocodile. Gee, Skip, a pet crocodile? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Captain's orders, and that's final. All right for you, McHale. But if I wind up old maid, all your own fault. <laughs> Come on, boy, step lively. Hey, Skip, can't we take this a little peek at the boss's son? Yeah, and I gotta go push hold that bottom. Look, I like don't want to have to hang around here any longer. We have to. Uh, but, Roger, I, I'm afraid you didn't understand, boy. See, when I offered you the best quarters on the base, I didn't necessarily mean mine. Well, Pop will be thrilled to hear about your hospitality, Bingy. Oh, uh, don't forget these. <laughs> I gotta freshen up now, Bingy. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> what I'd say to him if only I'd married money. <laughs> Now, what are you pirates gawking at? Didn't you ever see a man on the way to the, uh, the, the dry cleaners before? <laughs> Did you guys see what I saw? Hey, wasn't that so, beautiful? He's got Binghamton eating out of his hands. Hey, Mikhail. You're just the man I want to see. Oh? Uh, uh what, what, what do you guys do for kicks around here? I, I mean, uh, confidentially. Oh, confidentially? I get a kick out of those training films the medics have been showing. Oh, knock it off. You know what I mean. I mean, wine, women, song, that kind of thing. Oh, that kind of thing. I'm tired, Tupa? <laughs> well, that's ancient history, Sonny. Captain Binghamton turned thumbs down on any more parties. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, what if we can get him to change his mind? You mean, give us permission to throw a wingding? Well, you came to the right place. Yeah, we'll order as a while to swing it. Stow it, stow it. And you can save your breath, Sonny. Because Captain Binghamton ain't about to change his mind. Oh, really? Well, why don't we just ask him? Excuse me, Roger. I forgot my toothbrush. <laughs> Are you men still hanging around here goofing off? Move out, 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 out. All right, let's go, let's go boys. Go where, Mikhail? Aren't you interested in the party? Party? What party is that? What party? Well, well, well my welcome party. aboard party, Bingy. Pop always said that you'd throw one for me if our paths ever crossed in the Pacific. I, uh, oh, Pop said that if we... I would... <laughs> that party, yeah. How, how stupid of me to forget that. <laughs> no, hold on, Captain. 
Now, how can you okay his shindig when you just chewed us out for throwing a party? Because I've got four little stripes to say I can. That's how, Mikhail. Stripe dropper? <laughs> oh, shut up! Now, uh, I'm going to have Mikhail get his boat ready. I'm going to invite some of our prettiest nurses. And we're going off on the most fabulous seagoing luau you've ever seen. Hey, 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 hey. Hush! As far as I'm concerned, this party is France and Whitfield. You men are just going along as the hired help. Help? Shh. Now, Roger, won't your father be happy when he hears the wonderful time that I've been showing you? Come on inside, boy. Get out of this hot sun. Is everything comfy in here? Good time, Roger, boy. Well, I'm feeling no pain. Your knee may be really terrific. Come on, come on. Good night, kid. Bartender, hurry up with the drinks. We're running out in here. Yes, sir. No. Oh. Hello, how are you? Ah, you're supposed to Look what you've got. That's the first time I've had this on, too. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, anything wrong, Captain? Yes, I'll tell you what's wrong. This nip with you is trying to drown me. That's what's wrong. But I'll just stand it. Do this some more. Oh, uh, hey, 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 wait, wait later. Bring you later. Uh, right now, I kind of figure the gals might get a few kicks out of watching me put this tub through her paces. Oh, really? Well, just back off slowly, Sonny, because nobody steers my PT boat unless he's a qualified helmsman. Yeah, they hardly ever let me touch it. Don't worry, Mikhail. I'm qualified. Dad used to say that I could handle a speedboat better than anybody in the yacht club. Right, Bingy? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yes, that's what Dad used to say, McKenna. Yes. Now, wait a minute, Captain. The PT-73 is not a speedboat, and this is, happens to be not San Diego Bay. I don't care. This is Tokyo Bay. Roger wants to steer the 73. Hey, steer the 73, and that's an order. Come on, Roger. I'll show you where the wheel is. <laughs> <laughs> is this kicks, baby, or is this kicks? Yahoo! Chap, that I refuse to stand by while that punk plays hot rod with my boat. You watch your language, Miguel. But you're doing fine, Roger boy, fine. <laughs> but, Captain, these are dangerous waters, and no telling what we're having to run into. Boy, I'll say. Hey, sandbar, get ahead. I'm hard apart. I am. <laughs> Come in. Captain, this is positively the last straw. Do you realize what that little Lord Fauntleroy wants me to do? He wants me to put my signature to this damage report. Well, whose would you like on it? Mine? <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. After all, you're the one who let him take the wheel. <laughs> Gotta kill him one of these days, Mikhail. Now, you do anything that that miserable brat tells you to do. You read me anything, right up until the time his plane leaves from Baraluna. But, 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 Captain! No buts! This war is not gonna last forever. And I am not gonna go home and manage any live bait barge. Now, get out of here. I'm a sick man. I think that Duncan in the ocean gave me pneumonia. But, oh, I don't know. Your tongue looks all right. Oh, no, that's good. I... Get your grubby ass <laughs> off of me. Get out of here. Out, out, out. All right, all right, Captain, we'll go. But I'm telling you, that if you let that playboy pal of yours get away with this, there's nothing he'll stop at. <laughs> Hiya, fellas. Say, uh, Bingy, there was a note on my door that said you wanted to see me. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, Roger, I I'm giving a little party tonight at the officers' club in your honor, oh. sort of a uh, farewell party. <laughs> a farewell party? Yes. But I I'm not going anywhere, Bingy. <clears throat> oh, haven't I told you I decided to stay? I like it here. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> He's got orders. Yeah. You're due at Bar Luna tomorrow. Well, that's just a formality. They don't want me. Any ensign will do. So uh, you can send somebody else, huh, Bingy? <laughs> well, I do. Yeah, who? Well, like maybe him. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea, Captain. Should... Me? Why, you little pipsqueak? Oh, now, watch it, McKinley. Put that away. What's the matter with you? Uh, uh, Roger, can't we talk this over? Oh, boy. Bingy. Are you going to deny a little favor to the son of a man who took you out of nowhere and could put you right back there? No, 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 Captain, don't let him push you around. Don't let him push you around. Yeah, you were right when you called him a miserable brat. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, you're a disgrace since you're spreading lies like that around you. Oh, you start packing, you're shipping out. Oh, now, wait a minute, Captain. Be reasonable. You just can't do this. I can do anything I want. I'm in charge here, and you've got a new exec officer. Now you get out of here. Get out, 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 out. Okay, Captain, but I'm warning you, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Yeah, what he said. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> well, now that that's settled, I got a tennis date, so I'll see you later, Bingy. Oh, I 
Just think of what a bang it's going to give Dad to know that you and I are going to be together for the rest of the war. <laughs> Well, I guess this is it. Well, I sure hate goodbyes. What a dirty deal. It's a crying shame. Who does that Binghamton think he is? A sniveling coward, that's what. All of this just to save his crummy job after the war. I get so mad I could just... Oh. Oh, ah! Binghamton! Oh! I was sorry, we didn't see you coming, sir. Hey, we'll have this off in a minute. You all right, sir? Oh, 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 all right, oh. Oh. Yes, oh. 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 all right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm, all, I'm all right. I mean, <laughs> I never felt better in my life. Oh. Uh, what's an ear, more or less? <laughs> yes. All right, Captain. Let's have it. You want something from us, right? Oh, I have a, uh, you think that I want something from he thinks that I want? Yes. <laughs> uh, all right, Mikhail, let's, let's lay our cards on the table. Huh. I want that monster off of my base. Huh. I am sick and tired of that boy leading me around by the nose. He's led me around by the nose long enough. I've had enough of it, you understand? Enough, enough, enough. You know, it does look like your nose is stretching a little. <laughs> Well, that should be no problem, Captain. He just transfer Whitfield on his original orders and keep Mr. Parker here. No, 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 that won't work, McHale. And his father would know that I shipped him out. The little monster has got to beg me to ship him out. Beg. You got yourself a deal, Captain. Yeah, all we have to do is scare the daylights out of him. Maybe yeah, we my... can fake a Japanese attack. Not enough. Why don't we tie him to a depth charge and whammo? Yeah, yeah. whammo! Skip! How about this gorilla suit I swiped from the U.S.? was left over from the U.S.O. show. And this ought to scare the skivvies off a lover boy. Nah, nah, nah. That... Hey, wait a minute. That lover boy cued me on to something. Boys, what would be a fate worse than death for a Romeo like that? Why? It's me. Well, what else? Get married. Yeah. <laughs> Gather round, boys. Listen to this. Pay attention, will you? <laughs> How about it, Virg? Everything all set? Right, oh, Skip. The carbine's loaded with planks. The guys are all staked out and little flowers wearing to go. Ah, oh, that's good. Well, afternoon, Captain. I see you're wasting enough time in bringing over our new exec, huh? Yeah, well, they can't all left to war, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's no yeah. hard feelings, huh, Mikhail? Oh, no, 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 no. So it's like I always said, you know, uh, no sense crying over spilt ensigns. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Roger boy. Chasing Chief Batara's daughter. Shoot, Virgil, shoot. Go get... Get him, Virgil, shoot. Go away, you oh, drop the gun. Hurry up, up. Hurry up. Hurry up. saves a maiden's life, she belongs to him. Mr. Bingham, this is ridiculous. No, 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 no. Listen, the natives take their old customs very seriously. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, listen to that. There's the wedding drums already. Will you cut that out? There isn't anything or anyone that's going to make me marry her. <laughs> 
Hey, yeah, it looks like the new in-laws are arriving. <laughs> uh, welcome, uh, Chief Watara. Hi, hi, greetings, our great noble warrior. Fondu, fondu, knock off small talk. Uh, who the lucky bridegroom? This one, Papa. He saved my life. I marry him. <laughs> hmm. Welcome to family, son. Umgala, Umgala. Set up wedding altar. See, they don't believe in long engagements. <laughs> you do something about it. Mmm, not bad teeth, no caps. Grandchildren be plenty healthy. Will you take your dirty hands off of me? There's gonna be any grandchildren. There is not going to be any wedding. And will you let me go? I never let you go. We spend rest of lives in our own little hut. <laughs> Uh-oh, the wedding wreath. Hey, sorry, Elson, it won't be long now. Nonsense. Biggington, I I'm warning you. Now you get me out of this. Oh, I, oh yeah, yes, I will. I, I, you let this boy alone, you overgrown pygmy. Oh. <laughs> uh, shut face, or you end up human dartboard. Yeah, 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 watch it, Captain. He, he's right. Why, if any one of these two fellas sneezes, we, we're, we're, we're all dead. Uh, enough. Unga, Begora, Bora, Tuba, Mani. What's, what's he saying? Ah, uh, dearly beloved, we dearly are gathered beloved. here. No, 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 no. Sorry, no, pale face. Me. Sorry, pale face. Old native custom. One ceremony started, got to marry somebody. Anybody. Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh, so long, Skip. I'll be shipping out for Bora Luna. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what you think. I'm, I'm the one who's going. You're staying here to get married. But I can't. I'm not even engaged. Oh, right, no, that's an order. Is that all right with you, Chief? You said anybody. All oh, Ensign look alike to me. You like? I, I like. I like. <laughs> she likes. She likes it. And it's a deal. Thank you, O noble Chief. Thank you, Edwards. Oh, yes, now, sir, take Ensign Whitfield over to the radio shack. Have a seat, Carpenter. Change those travel orders immediately. Yes, hurry, sir. hurry, hurry. Come on, quick, before the Chief changes his mind. Come on, oh. let's go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm free. I'm squashed. <laughs> well, Captain, just as soon as Roger leaves, our troubles are over. Hey, I want to tell you, Michael, when you put your mind to something, you... Oh. <laughs> it's Papa! Ah, uh, greetings, oh great Chief Watari. <laughs> greetings, Michael. Who are these phonies? <laughs> uh, well, 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 we were just getting ready for Halloween, yes. Yeah, you know, trick or treat. <laughs> well, uh, what brings you here, Chief? Oh, here, wedding drums. Come quick, give Brad away. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh no, Papa! It is all mistake. You bet it, mistake. Chief daughter don't settle for one stripe when I can get a husband with four. Four stripes? You mean the captain? Captain will do till Admiral come along. Little flower marry you. Uh, me? But, uh, no, no, that's out of the question. You, you see, I already have a wife. What difference? Watara has eight wives. Captain have two. Well, congratulations, Wally. Looks like the best man won. You keep your daughter. Nothing on earth can make me marry her. Nothing. Easy does it, Captain. Here comes Junior. Uh, uh, it's nice to be in the family, Papa. Listen, my plane's taking off any second, so I just... Papa? Who's he? Ah, uh, well, this Captain make up this new brother-in-law. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't settle for me, so... He volunteered to take your place. <laughs> oh, Dad and I will never forget you for this, Bingy. And allow me a, to be among the first to say that I hope that you will be very happy together. <laughs> you come here, Four Stripe, and hold little flower hand. Unga Gora. Tuba Bora Tuba Mani. That means dearly beloved. <laughs> That's it, Captain. Remember, this is the deal we made with Chief Watara. Cheer up. At least it saves you another trip to Niagara Falls. Playboys, come on, we're home. 
Okay, kiddies. I'm sorry I hate to be a party pooper, but the shindig's over. I have a heart, Skip. Yeah, we was just warming up. Yeah, well, you better cool off quick, because we gotta get these girls back to the base hospital before Binghamton finds out that they're missing. Yeah, well, let us at least have one more dance, Skip. I found a great partner. Huh? <laughs> What'll it be, baby? The Lindy or the Peabody? It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Turn all of this like a Congo under the brig, honey. John the rest, all of you. Gee, I'm sorry I stepped on your toes, sir. <laughs> I mean, ma'am. Never mind. My program was filled anyway. No! No! Everybody out! Out! Item 42, unauthorized use of Navy property. Item 43, willfully creating a disturbance during duty hours. Huh? <laughs> Item 44, fraternizing with female personnel. Oh, take it easy, Captain. The boys needed a little relaxation. They haven't had a leave in months. Give them a break. Oh, I'll give them a break, all right, Mikhail. I'll give them a break right about here, and I'll personally tie the noose myself. Now, don't you interrupt me anymore. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know what he was that mean. I'd have never asked him to dance. You shut your fat little mouth, or I'll give you a turn. Personally tie the noose myself. Now, don't you interrupt me anymore. Yes, sir. I don't know what he was that mean. I'd have never asked him to dance. You shut your fat little mouth, or I'll give you a turn. Let's you. Excuse me for interrupting, sir, but there's a new ensign who just arrived, and he's very anxious to speak to you, sir. I don't know anything about a new ensign. That's all I need around here is another ensign. Well, well, sir, 45. sir, he is not assigned here, sir. He's not assigned here. He's just laying over for three days until he can get a flight out to Baraluna, sir. Here are his orders. Don't you understand? I don't want to see his orders. I don't want to see him. I, I don't want to know anything about this man, whoever he is. Take the waiter. Yeah. Give me that. Give me that. Ensign Roger Whitfield III? Yes, sir. Is this the son of Roger Whitfield II, my old boss? Well, that's what he told me to tell you, sir. Don't stand like an idiot. You bring the boy in here. You'll bring him in here right away. <laughs> my goodness, that's my boss's son. I want my job back after this war, you know. Yeah. Don't just stand there, Mikhail. Tidy up, tidy up. Don't be like, oh, standing around. Nobody does anything to help me. I, I tell you what. <laughs> you get this thing off of me, you lump. Every time you get near me, put that down. Oh, right. <laughs> Time for this brat to show up. I, oh. Hello, Roger, boy. So uh, nice to see you, boy. It's How a small you? war, isn't it? <laughs> Whoever thought I'd bump into you away out here? Huh, Bingy? <laughs> Bingy. <laughs> That's what they used to call me at the Yacht Club. Oh? Uh, Bingy. <laughs> oh, goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Nice What's the rush, in. Bingy? Aren't you going to introduce us? Oh, you want to... Um, he wants to... Yeah, uh, uh, this is, uh, this is Commander McHale. Uh, the... Hi, glad to know you. And uh, that, that's Ensign uh, uh, Parker. Yeah, hi. Any friend of Bingy's is a friend of ours. <laughs> well, bye-bye, boys. So, uh, so, so you're uh, Quentin McHale, huh? Oh, I heard a lot about you from the fellows on the plane. Oh? Yeah, we've heard a lot about you, too. Yeah, boy, you should have heard what he said about you before you came in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, I was telling you all about the South Bay Yacht Club, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How are things at the Yacht Club, yeah. Roger, without me? I suppose you're just falling apart. Huh? Well, not exactly. Dad wrote me that they put Charlie Druton in your old spot managing the place, and uh, I understand he's doing a pretty good job, too. Charlie Druton. <laughs> oh, that eight ball, he couldn't manage a live bait barge. <laughs> well, if I remember right, that's what they used to say about you, too. Huh, Bingy? <laughs> <laughs> Great sense of humor in this boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Friends in the family. Yeah. Yeah. Captain couldn't manage a live bait bar. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something? He's not such a hot dancer. No, sir. <laughs> well, well, if you're going to have a little old reunion here, Captain, it will be on our way. Uh, what about the court-martial? Oh? Don't tell me you're having personnel problems, Bingy. 
You know, Dad always thought that was your weak point. Oh, yeah, Dad thought that was my weak point. I'm not having any personnel problems, hmm? No, 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 no. What Mr. Parker meant was that the, the, the captain seldom had... <laughs> All right, let's break it up, you playboys. Come on, we're home. Okay, kiddies. I'm sorry, I hate to be a party pooper, but the shindig's over. I have a heart, Skip. Yeah, we was just warming up. Yeah, well, you better cool off quick, because we got to get these girls back to the base hospital before Binghamton finds out that they're missing. Yeah, well, let us at least have one more dance, Skip. I found a great partner. Well, <laughs> what'll it be, baby? The Lindy or the Peabody? It's up to you. Try all of this like a Congo under the brig, honey. You're under arrest, all of you. Gee, I'm sorry I stepped on your toes, sir. <laughs> I mean, ma'am. Never mind. My program was filled anyway. No! Everybody out! Out! Item 42, unauthorized use of Navy property. Item 43, willfully creating a disturbance during duty hours. Huh? <laughs> Item 44, fraternizing with female personnel. Oh, take it easy, Captain. The boys needed a little relaxation. They haven't had a leave in months. Give him a break, Captain. Oh, I'll give him a break, all right, Mikhail. I'll give him a break right about here, and I'll personally tie the noose myself. Now, don't you interrupt me anymore. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know what he was that mean. I'd have never asked him to dance. You shut your fat little mouth, or I'll give you a turn. Let's save you. Excuse me for interrupting, sir, but there's a new ensign who just arrived, and he's very anxious to speak to you, sir. I don't know anything about a new ensign. That's all I need around here is another ensign. Well, well, sir, 45. sir, he is not assigned here, sir. He's not assigned here. He's just laying over for three days until he can get a flight out to Baraluna, sir. Here are his orders. Don't you understand? I don't want to see his orders. I don't want to see him. I, I don't want to know anything about this man, whoever he is. Take the wait a minute. Give me that. Give me that. Ensign Roger Whitfield III? Yes, sir. Is this the son of Roger Whitfield II, my old boss? Well, that's what he told me to tell you, sir. Don't stand like an idiot. You bring that boy in here. You'll bring him in here right away. Oh, my goodness, that's my boss's son. I want my job back after this war, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I tell you, I give you two pig. Well, two or two hundred, I, I, it just can't be done. I throw in water buffalo, then a coat, even pet crocodile. Please give a pet crocodile. I'm sorry. That's Captain's orders, and that's final. All right for you, McHale. But if I wind up old maid, all your own fault. <laughs> Come on, boy, step lively. Hey, Skip, can't we take this little pig at the boss's son? Yeah, any guy can push hold that bottle. Look, down I like don't want to have to hang around here any longer. We have to. Uh, but, Roger, I, I'm afraid you didn't understand, boy. See, when I offered you the best quarters on the base, I didn't necessarily mean mine. Well, Pop will be thrilled to hear about your hospitality, Bingy. Oh, uh, don't forget these. <laughs> I gotta freshen up now, Bingy. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> what well, I'd say to him if only I'd married money. <laughs> Now, what are you pirates gawking at? Didn't you ever see a man on the way to the, uh, the, the dry cleaners before? <laughs> Did you guys see what I saw? Hey, wasn't that saw. beautiful? He's got Binghamton eating out of his hands. Hey, Mikhail, you're just the man I want to see. Oh? Uh, uh what, what, what do you guys do for kicks around here? I, I mean, uh, yeah, confidentially. Oh, confidentially? I get a kick out of those training films the medics have been showing. Oh, knock it off. You know what I mean. I mean, wine, women, song, that kind of thing. Oh, that kind of thing. I'm tired, Tupa. <laughs> well, 
Well, that's ancient history, Sonny. Captain Binghamton turned thumbs down on any more parties. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, what if we can get him to change his mind? You mean, give us permission to throw a wingding? Well, you came to the right place. Yeah, we'll order as a Wallace swing it. Stow it, stow it. And you can save your breath, Sonny, because Captain Binghamton ain't about to change his mind. Oh, really? Well, why don't we just ask him? Excuse me, Roger. I forgot my toothbrush. Are you men still hanging around here goofing off? Move out, 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 out. All right, let's go, let's go, boys. Go where, Mikhail? Aren't you interested in the party? Party? What party is that? What party? Well, well, well my welcome party. aboard party, Bingy. Pop always said that you'd throw one for me if our paths ever crossed in the Pacific. I uh, Oh, Pop said that if we... I would... <laughs> that party, yeah. How, how stupid of me to forget that. <laughs> no, hold on, Captain. Now, how can you okay his shindig when you just chewed us out for throwing a party? Because I've got four little stripes to say I can. That's how, Mikhail. Stripe dropper? <laughs> oh, shut up! Now, uh, I'm going to have Mikhail get his boat ready. I'm going to invite some of our prettiest nurses. And we're going off on the most... Uh, shut face or you'll end up human dartboard. Yeah, 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 watch it, Captain. He, he's right, why, if any one of these two fellas sneezes, we... We're, we're all dead. Ah, uh, enough! Unga begora bora tuba mani. What, what, what's he saying? Ah, uh, dearly beloved, we dearly are gathered here. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Sorry, no, pale face. Sorry, pale face. Old native custom. One ceremony started, got to marry somebody. Anybody. <laughs> Molly, Molly, Molly. Oh, so long, Steve. I'll be shipping out for Bora Luna. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what you think. I'm, I'm the one that's going. You're staying here to get married. But I can't. I'm not even engaged. All right, now, that's an order. Is that all right with you, Chief? You said anybody. All Ensign look alike to me. You like? I, I like. I like. <laughs> she likes. She likes it. And it's a deal. Thank you, O noble chief. Thank you, Edwards. Oh, yes, now, now, take Ensign Whitfield over to the radio shack. Have a seat, Carpenter. Change those travel orders immediately. Yes, hurry, sir. hurry, hurry. Come on, quick, before the chief changes his mind. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm free. I'm squashed. <laughs> Proud, Captain. Just as soon as Roger leaves, our troubles are over. Now, yeah, I want to tell you, Mikhail, when you put your mind to something, you... Hey, Papa! Ah, uh, greetings, oh great Chief Watari. <laughs> greetings, Mikhail. Who are these phonies? <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. We were just getting ready for Halloween, yes. Yeah, you know, trick or treat. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, what brings you here, Chief? Oh, here, wedding drums. Come quick, give bride away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no, Papa. It is all mistake. You bet it's mistake. Chief daughter don't settle for one stripe when I can get a husband with four. Four stripes? You mean the captain? The captain will do till Admiral come along. <laughs> Little flower marry you. Not me? But, uh, no, no, that's out of the question. You, you see, I already have a wife. What difference? Watara has eight wives. Captain, have two. Well, congratulations, Wally. Looks like the best man won. You keep your daughter. Nothing on earth can make me marry her. Nothing. Easy does it, Captain. Here comes Junior. It's nice to be in the family, Papa. Listen, my plane's taking off any second, so I just... Papa? Who's he? Ah, well, this Captain Bingham's new brother-in-law. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't settle for me, so he volunteered to take your place. <laughs> Oh, Dad and I will never forget you for this, Bingy. And allow me to be among the first to say that I hope that you will be very happy together. You come here, Four Stripe, and hold your flower hand. Unga Gora. Tuba Bora Tuba Mani. That means dearly beloved. <laughs> I'm allergic to those things. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> a little flower, uh, I'll tell you, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, we can't help you because if Binghamton ever catches us with another girl on the boat, he'll skin us alive. So, I'm sorry. Um, well, uh, uh, I, I tell you, I give you two pigs. Well, two or two hundred, I, I, it just can't be done. I throw in water buffalo, feather coat, even pet crocodile. Gee, Skip, a pet crocodile? I'm sorry. That's Captain's orders, and that's final. All right for you, McHale. But if I wind up old maid, all your own fault. 
<laughs> Come on, boy, step lively. Hey, Skip, can't we take this a little peek at the boss's son? Yeah, any guy that can push hold that bottom Look, down I like don't want to have to hang around here any longer we have to. Uh, but, Roger, I, I'm afraid you didn't understand, boy. See, when I offered you the best quarters on the base, I didn't necessarily mean mine. Well, Pop will be thrilled to hear about your hospitality, Bingy. Oh, uh, don't forget these. <laughs> I gotta freshen up now, Bingy. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> what well, I'd say to him if only I'd married money. <laughs> Now, what are you pirates gawking at? Didn't you ever see a man on the way to the, uh, the, the dry cleaners before? <laughs> Did you guys see what I saw? Hey, wasn't that saw. beautiful? He's got Binghamton eating out of his hand. Hey, Mikhail, you're just the man I want to see. Oh? Uh, uh what, what, what do you guys do for kicks around here? I, I mean, uh, yeah, confidentially. Oh, confidentially? I get a kick out of those training films the medics have been showing. Oh, knock it off. You know what I mean. I mean, wine, women, song, that kind of thing. Oh, that kind of thing. I'm tired, Tupa? <laughs> well, that's ancient history, Sonny. Captain Binghamton turned thumbs down on any more parties. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, what if we can get him to change his mind? You mean, give us permission to throw a wingding? Well, you came to the right place. Yeah, we'll order as a Wallace, swing it. Stow it, stow it. And you can save your breath, Sonny. Because Captain Binghamton ain't about to change his mind. Oh, really? Well, why don't we just ask him? Excuse me, Roger. I forgot my toothbrush. <laughs> Are you men still hanging around here goofing off? Move out, 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 out. All right, let's go, let's go boys. Go where, Mikhail? Aren't you interested in the party? Party? What party is that? What party? Well, well, well my welcome party. aboard party, Bingy. Pop always said that you'd throw one for me if our paths ever crossed in the Pacific. I, uh, oh, Pop said that if we... I would... <laughs> that party, yeah. How, how stupid of me to forget that. <laughs> now, hold on, Captain. Now, how can you okay his shindig when you just chewed us out for throwing a party? Because I've got four little stripes. Enough. You know, it does look like your nose is stretching a little. <laughs> Well, that should be no problem, Captain. He just transfer Whitfield on his original orders and keep Mr. Parker here. No, 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 that won't work, Mikhail. And his father would know that I shipped him out. That little monster has got to beg me to ship him out. Bing. You got yourself a deal, Captain. Yeah, all we have to do is scare the daylights out of him. Maybe yeah, we can fake a Japanese attack. Not enough. Why don't we turn to a depth charge and whammo? Yeah, whammo! Skip! How about this gorilla suit I swiped from the U.S. was left over from the U.S.O. show? That this ought to scare the skimmies off a of lover boy. Nah, nah, nah. That... Hey, wait a minute. That lover boy cued me on to something. Boys, what would be a fate worse than death for a Romeo like that? Oh, it's me. But what else? Getting married. <laughs> yeah. Gather round, boys. Listen to this. Pay attention, will you? <laughs> How about it, Virg? Everything all set? Right, oh, Skip. The carbine's loaded with planks. The guys are all staked out and little flowers We're to go. Ah, oh, that's good. Well, afternoon, Captain. I see you're wasting enough time in bringing over our new exec, huh? Yeah, well, they can't all left to war, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's no right. hard feelings, huh, Mikhail? Oh, no, 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 no. So it's like I always said, you know, uh, no sense crying over spilt ensigns. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Roger boy. Yeah, it is chasing Chief Batara's daughter. Shoot, Virgil, shoot. Go get... Get him, Virgil, shoot. Go away, you got him. Get him, Man, 
<laughs> married? Is she kidding? Oh, no, no, she's not kidding. No, it's an old native custom, yeah. Any man that saves a maiden's life, she belongs to him. Mr. Bingham, this is ridiculous. No, 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 it isn't. A 